in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. God of hope, renew in us the joy of your salvation, and make us a living sacrifice to you, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. The psalm of the day is Psalm 80. Return to us, O God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over this vine, the root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, you call us once again to celebrate the coming of your Son. Remove those things which hinder love of you, that when he comes he may find us waiting in awe and wonder for him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Gospel today is from St. Luke, chapter 21. There will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. On the earth nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Men will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. He told them this parable, look at the fig tree and all the trees, when they sprout leaves you can see for yourselves and know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Advent. It is Adventus Domini. The Lord comes to us. But uh, there is also another direction. We are called to come to Him. You all know, I hope, the Christmas hymn written by Martin Luther. From heaven above to earth I come to bear good news to every home. And the last verse begins, Glory to God in highest heaven, who unto man his Son hath given. Maybe everywhere, but at least here in Finland, we used to stand up when the last verse begins. The background for standing up is not only that we sing glory to God, I have learned 
that the human was written to be a part of fam family ceremony for Christmas Eve in Martin Luther's home. Luther's children were singing the verses at the manger. It was as a running commentary on the nativity of the Lord. And when the last verse began, everyone in the house stood up and came to the manger to see baby Jesus in the manger. They wanted to see him, not from distance, but be a part of it, part of what was going on. Now my point is that we should not read the Christmas Gospel from distance as spectators only. We should not stay as outsiders. We all are involved in what happened one day in Bethlehem. The angel does not proclaim the message only for the shepherds. His word is a word for each of us. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. The angel says, a savior has been born to you. Brothers and sisters, Tris Hagion, or Holy God, Holy and Strong, Holy and Immortal, is the prayer traditionally used in the Advent season and Lenten season. The following version, as we use now, is the one used in the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We pray to you for the salvation of our souls, for the spread of your Church over all the earth, and for the unity of all believers. Give us pastors and counselors who are pleasing to you. May your spirit generate life through the word and the sacraments. Hear us, good Lord God. Grant your peace into our hearts and homes. Give young people strength to walk in your ways. Bring peace to nations in this world and justice and righteousness upon the earth. We ask for your wise guidance to heads of our states, for your blessing and protection upon our country and people, and for everything we need in this life. Hear us, good Lord God. Support and help the sick. Save those in distress and danger. Give endurance to those who suffer because of their faith. We ask for your gracious presence in places of sorrow and suffering. Give us a blessed death and a joyous reunion with the beloved ones who have passed away. Hear us, good Lord God. To him, the King of Kings, who loves us and has released us from our sins with his blood. Be praise and honor, glory and power, always and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up, lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ring out your joy, for the Holy One of Israel is in your midst.